what is your process to going from executing on a task to mm -hmm. then you know transitioning into a business owner right because as we've learned into into our, our journey right is two completely different things right we're like okay I don't, I don't have to do this anymore like i elevated that task to number five number six and then we're bringing in people to elevate it to a number 10 right for us that was a really challenging transition like i'm gonna be completely 100 percent honest handing out the baby and the system that we've developed to to somebody else uh, trusting them that they could elevate it, right? And and it has, and it, it went instead of a ten to like a twenty, which is incredible, right? But to me, it was really challenging. First, the idea of trying to find that person that could execute on that. So, how was your thought process, or how was your process on going from skills to maybe you know the managing aspect of it? Right. So when I worked at the church, I had managed quite a bit. I had interns mm -hmm. working for me. I had staff that were under me, and I had, uh, they had a school of ministry. So I was used to leading. That was a part of my role. I was a youth pastor and a worship pastor. And so I was used right. to leading people and working with people. Now I wish I could say I did it perfectly all the time. <laughs> I did not, but I learned how to do things better and yeah. what not to do. You know, a good friend of mine says, there's two things you'll always learn from me, what not to do and what to do. <laughs> and, and I think that's all of us. We don't like criticism. But sometimes the criticism is the thing that helps us. All that to say, when I entered into what I was doing, I went the solopreneur way. And, and I'm, right now I'm living in that space too in a lot of ways. Now I have contractors that I work with. I have uh, people that we have partnerships with that that are a part of our team, but we don't have any traditional employees. We we went the contractor route for, for several reasons, yeah. which maybe we'll get into that at another part of the story. I started out the business for the first year, probably maybe a year and a half mm -hmm. as a solopreneur. I probably wouldn't have hired anyone if it wasn't for the fact that a friend of mine called me up and said, I lost my job. I'm a graphic designer. I work for this company. I've known him since I was four. Yeah. And I said, dude, uh, let me see what I can find for you. Yeah. I couldn't really find anything with what would be perfect fit for him. And yeah. I said, well, maybe I can create a space for him. Maybe I can create a a role that that will help me and so i hired first not because of necessity although in hindsight it was one of the best decisions i could have made at that time yeah i hired because i had a friend that needed help and so when i hired them i began to you know increase their role now it's 10 hours a week now it's 20 hours a week now he was then he went full time and and so it was a process of learning what we needed and as i mm -hmm. often it's some things I enjoyed doing, things that I was pretty solid at doing, uh, the graphic design aspect of it. As I began to say, here, here, you take this, I found that it freed me up and we actually were uh, increasing project turn. So the, the amount of time it takes from start to finish was going quicker. I was finding mm -hmm. that I was able to support our clients better. Well, what it really taught me was I was the cog in the system. I was the one <laughs> that was mucking it up. I was, I was, I was you know, I needed some greasing and that greasing came in the form of people that could help. And so he was mm -hmm. my first employee. Then we brought on some other people. We grew to about 12 people at our, our pinnacle of uh, how big our team was. And we were working for some crazy projects and doing some really unique yeah. things. But I chose it not because I thought I needed it, but because I wanted to help someone. And there's yeah. been other times where I've hired people. Sometimes it's worked out well. Sometimes it's not worked out well. And it all came back to sometimes just seeing people and saying, hey, you, you need a spot. I can make a spot for you. And sometimes mm -hmm. it was, hey, I have a need. Let's go find someone to help with that specific need. And so it varied from employee to employee and what yeah. was going on. But it was an unexpected journey to hire people. It was never really on my radar of things. I go, oh, yeah, this sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah. But ended up there and it worked out really well. I think I do best when I'm in a team. I, that's part of my personality, my the, the makeup of who I am. And yeah. I, I, you know, would hope that my one of my strengths, I, I think it is, is to help inspire people on the journey of, of creating. And so, so I do best when I have a team around me.